Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. I actually wasn't going to post a video today, but here I am. As usual, there's just too many things happening right now. And so today we're going to talk about this breathtaking new footage as well as some updates to just the sheer destruction that is happening in the Hawaiian Islands as we speak. But first, this breathtaking video of something captured streaming down through our atmosphere and smashing into the ground, creating this massive explosion. And so first, we're looping over this CCTV camera footage that was captured. It's a personal camera of a local farmer right on the South African border of Botswana. And what is so riveting about this footage is that whatever this object was, now NASA is obviously already out in front of this thing calling it a meteorite, you know, a small asteroid. But we'll get more to that in just a second. What is so amazing about this is that unlike most of the meteorites you see, this object didn't seem to burn up in the atmosphere. In fact, I've received three emails from three separate people, two of them right outside of Johannesburg, another located right near the Botswana border where this occurred, who stated that not only did they see this object streaking through the sky, but that they clearly saw uh, whatever this was touch ground. And by touch ground, they uh, did not see any of the typical burn-up uh, that you see with meteorites. Usually these things hit our atmosphere, um, you know, and they can be several, several meters and still burn up into nothingness. But this object, it blasted through and it held its shape before hitting the ground, creating this massive explosion that shook homes, turned the night into day. And the, the viewers who sent me emails about this, they're not so sure that this was a meteorite. They said it, it certainly was something, you know, some sort of object coming from space. That's obvious. And, and even NASA is saying that. However, NASA's version of the story is that this object was an asteroid named 2018 LA. And the space object was actually only discovered about nine hours before its impact by the Catalina Sky Survey, which is a NASA-funded project based in the University of Arizona's Lunar and Planetary Lab in Tucson. And so the asteroid, as they're calling it, had an apparent magnitude of between 18 and 25.5 when it was discovered. And this CCTV video you're seeing here was captured from this farm located miles and miles away. And now here is a separate view of the object from yet another CCTV camera, where uh, in this shot, uh, you can clearly see the object coming down and going back behind the trees, fully maintaining its shape. I mean, you, you don't see any small pieces burning off like you typically do with a meteorite, and especially a meteorite that's only a few meters, which is what NASA has said was the size of this object. That according to one of the sources who emailed me, literally sent animals running out of the forest. Once again, as if something had actually hit the ground and caused them to run, as opposed to something happening above them, which would scare the animals, of course, but they described it, which was that the animals were specifically running away from the direction that this object hit. So, you know, according to NASA, or as I like to call them, never a straight answer, stated that the object burned up in the atmosphere, but that's just not the information I'm getting. Now, that's not to say this couldn't be a satellite or something of that nature, or maybe it is a meteorite, but, you know, we're just getting conflicting reports here. So, regardless, it's an amazing piece of footage. Whatever these massive flashes of lights are, whatever these objects are streaming into our atmosphere from space, there seems to be a whole lot more of them over this past year. So, I will leave that with you guys. Here is the a last photo of the object as it streamed down. Beautiful still pic. And who knows, just maybe um, we'll have some farmers, you know, uh, find fragments of whatever this object was and we can uh, dive a little bit deeper into it. So tell me what you guys think down below. Really awesome footage. And while we're on the topic of strange things streaking through the night sky, here is a new piece of footage. It's very short, but I'm trying to get the full res. I'm waiting for the uh, viewer who sent this in to email me back. But he sent me this clip of something captured above Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And well, here was the viewer's reaction to the object. What the f is that? 
Okay, so um, he said the object was white, it was glowing, and it was round, but it had this strange red tail behind it. And he said that as the object kept going up, the red tail eventually faded until it was just a bright ball. Now, unfortunately, we're not really seeing that here. And again, hopefully there is a longer video of it. But he said, uh, yeah, it, it just disappeared out of nowhere after that happened. And another thing he mentioned is how still the object was sitting in the sky. Because if you'll notice as I'm looping this over, uh, you know, it kind of takes the form of a meteor, only a meteor heading back up, you know, towards space. But the object is definitely moving up, but it's it seems to be still. You know, it has a tail behind it as if it's moving upwards, obviously creating a tail, but it seems to be just kind of sitting there, static. Leading the viewer, as well as myself, to wonder what the heck this could be. Here is a uh, still image of the object here, the best one I could get. Um, I mean, it doesn't really give us any more information about what this could be, but hopefully we can get some more video of it and do some further analysis. So, this is a shout out to any of you out in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Keep your eyes open and your cameras ready, and we'll see what we can find. Now, lastly today, we have some breaking news. Well, you've probably been seeing it on other channels as well as in the mainstream news regarding the continued eruption and mass lava flow that is taking place surrounding Leilani Estates as the Kilauea volcano continues to just fall apart with new fissures opening up. Lava is just flowing like a river with hundreds of homes every day being just devoured by this slow-moving ocean of lava just swallowing up everything in its path. Uh, recently, we had this massive swarm of earthquakes surrounding uh, the volcano that uh, to many scientists may signal another, you know, impending massive lava outbreak and eruption. Here you're seeing a map of that earthquake swarm situated around the Kilauea summit leading to a massive 5.5 earthquake as ash continued to spew some 8,000 feet into the air. We have lava covering nearly 5,000 acres and people are truly wondering, are we going to see the big one? I mean, the big one. And it does not look good. I mean, we have highways, entire housing developments, you know, once thriving areas totally just enveloped by this slow moving lava. And it truly is scary. It truly is. Here you're seeing some new satellite pics capturing the volcano's newest outburst taken by the Landsat 8 satellite, giving us this false color view of the lava flow as it appeared on the night of May 23rd. The purple areas surrounding the flows are clouds being lit from below. And you know what, speaking of clouds, on a final note here, I got some really creepy pics sent in by a viewer who was reviewing some of the footage of the volcano erupting, the uh, fissures opening up, the lava pouring out, when his video accidentally froze on his phone. And that's when he looked up and saw what he described as a demon or just a, a scary face sitting up in the smoke above the lava and you're seeing that image here and there's two images here that i'll animate back and forth here but if you'll notice right here just right above the lava i mean it, it's creepy i mean obviously whether you believe whether you're you know you're a spiritual person because if you look back at photos during other you know terrible events there was a well-known photograph taken then of what appeared to be a devilish or demon-like face appearing in the ash and smoke. And, you know, whether you believe that stuff is real, you know, whether it's a sign of something, or whether you just believe it's, you know, it's just a natural occurrence, pareidolia, it is creepy, you know, regardless of what you believe. And even as I'm animating it here, it, it almost looks as if the face is changing and, and becoming more clear. Because as we go to the second photograph, you can see more of what look like two eyes, a nose hole, a mouth. It looks like a skull to me. And um, yeah, I, I think that, again, regardless whether you believe this is just a coincidence or there's something more to this, I do think that it, it's a great metaphor and symbol for what is happening. The devastation that is happening in Hawaii as we speak. And um, 
yeah, it, uh, it, it, it's scary, whatever your, uh, your view on it is, scary set of photographs, it truly is, and, um, yeah, the guy's phone just happened to pause right here, and he looked up and he said, that looks like a skull, that looks like an evil face sitting up above the lava, so, uh, you know, if anything, just really cool, creepy pics, so, <laughs> tell me what you guys think down below, but any of you guys out in Hawaii, please stay safe, you know, I'm, I'm, fingers crossed that this will all wind down soon and if any of you live out there and you have footage up close footage or footage from a safe spot of these new fissures opening up and this lava you know send them in send me an email and i'd love to feature it here on the channel so with that thank you all for stopping by be sure to stay tuned i've got more video in the works follow me on facebook and twitter where i constantly post updates as to when new videos are coming and i will see you all back in just a bit 